Welcome back folks. Now in my last video, of course, I posted my panel cutting crosscut sled. And so in this video, I'm going to be building this more common style crosscut sled, which although is quite similar in how it works, provides a slightly different function. Now, if you didn't catch my last video, be sure to check that out just here because there's some useful building instructions in that, which I didn't really want to cover completely. Again, in this video, I just felt it would be a little bit boring if I did that. With the runners milled to exactly the right width, just like when I made my panel cutting sled, I'm using the same CA glue trick to temporarily attach the runners to the sled. With it dry now, I can slide it out of the slot. And now I'm fixing the rails in place with a few short screws. Next up is the fence. And for this, I'm just using solid wood. Although I do think that a few sheets of plywood laminated together would also be a really nice option. To avoid wasting too much wood, I'm actually laminating two pieces together. Just before I fix the fence to the sled, I'm just making sure to see that it sits nice and square to the surface of the sled and it does seem to be pretty good. And I'm just putting a small round over on the top of the fence just so that it's a bit more comfortable to use. Once again, I've cut a small chamfer against the bottom of the fence to stop small wood chips from skewing the registration against the fence. To attach the fence, I'm going to start by making a cut through the sled, being careful to stop just before the blade exits. Because of this chamfer which I cut against the bottom edge of the fence, I've actually clamped on a secondary piece of wood which I know to be nice and flat so that I can get a good registration of the square against the fence. So if I pull the sled past the front edge just slightly, I can drive a screw up here on one end. And I've already drilled a pilot hole for this screw. I've just wedged this steel rule into the kerf left by the saw blade and that will give me a far better surface to reference against than if I was just to try and reference against the saw blade alone. And now I can butt this framing square up against it and because of that single screw I can pivot the fence to the point where it's just in the square. And when I think I've got it just about right I can slide it carefully just off the back again and I can clamp it down and drive another screw. I'm checking to make sure that the fence is still in square and now I can drive a final screw in at the far end of the fence like before. I'm performing a test cut to make sure that the sled produces adequate results Wide boards such as this will help to identify any errors and of course if the results aren't adequate you can simply remove the second two screws and try again. So that seems to be pretty good really, I'm certainly happy to leave it at that. I'm adding this strip at the back of the fence just to add some support. And to finish up the fence, I'm just driving several longer screws here in the tool portion of the fence, as well as some shorter ones along the length of the fence to make sure that the fence is well supported. Hope you all enjoyed these two short videos on building crosscut sleds. If you happen to have a table saw, they can be really useful accessories 
to have. I've also posted a couple of links down in the description to two more videos about building crosscut sleds from other YouTube personalities, which I think you might find of quite a bit of use if you intend to build a crosscut sled yourself. As there always is, there's also links down in the description to my YouTube blog channel, which you can also subscribe to, as well as, of course, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, etc. Take care, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.